changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place. Princess Pat at Pabio Show, and this show will change minds and change attitudes on how you perceive things in life generally. As you know, things are never what they seem to be. On this particular episode, we will be talking about DJ in event entertainment. And as you know, that the job of a DJ is to make sure they play the kind of music that we want to rock to in any party and in any club. But let me tell you something about this whole DJ thing and why it became named as Disc Jockey. In 1935, a radio commentator known as Walter Winchell coined the word Disc Jockey. Join me today on the show to talk about Disc Jockey in entertainment here in Aquarium State and Nigeria as a whole. It's a beautiful young lady in her own right. Who dares to be bold and to be herself at every given event that I have been privileged to see her. As a beautiful graduate of theatre arts from the University of Uyo, she is the first child of three children. She is a woman with a difference who is the first Aquarium of State female this jerky and, and a DJ with a difference. Who has given back with a girl child sensation store here in Aquarium State and her widow's initiative? And now she has diversified into seafood business. Let's make a welcome, precious Solomon Andrews. We know her as DJ Rixie. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You're watching. Princess Pata Pabio Show. Thank you so much. I was, I was just smiling all through. <laughs> you look good. I'm as glad always. to be here. And I love my hairstyle. You look pen. I love it. Yeah. You're banging. You're banging. I love it. Thank well, you. I don't know if I missed anything in my introduction. No, no, no you did not. You did good. I did good, yeah? yeah? Thank you. Well, I just wanted you to tell us more about yourself and being the fact that you are a girl child okay. from a quiet room state. Okay, first of all, my name is Precious Solomon Andrews, mm -hmm. aka DJ Ritzy. I hail from Nodo, wow. in the Sultan local government yeah. area, Aquaibum State, Nigeria, Africa. Okay. Yeah, I'm the first child, like you said, mm -hmm. in a family of three. Mm -hmm. I'm a graduate of theatre arts. Mm -hmm. I'm into um, art, performance, mm -hmm. you know, and all that. So, I in a nutshell, mm -hmm. that's, that's what I would say. And I kind of like your personality too, though, because Thank you. you carry that theatre act thing well. <laughs> Everything about you is always like dramatic, like, yeah. and dramatically beautiful too, yes. and positive. I like, I like unique things. So. Of course you should. You look unique anyway. <laughs> Let me ask you this. So, in a male-dominated industry in terms of DJing and career, okay. what made you interested in being a DJ as a woman? Okay, first of all, I like things that challenge me. Okay. I always have the belief that I can be anything I want to be okay. and I can do anything I want to do. Okay. So when I saw a male disc jockey mm -hmm. doing his thing, I fell in love with it. And I was like, I think I should do this. Mm -hmm. So I approached the guy, mm -hmm. told him I wanted to learn. Uh -huh. The guy told me, ah, no, it's not a woman's <laughs> thing. Oh. This job is very strenuous. Mm -hmm. It is. He'll be standing all through. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I want to learn. Mm -hmm. He said, no, 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 you won't be. I said, try me. Okay, so he kind of said, no, 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 he doesn't want you to be a part of it. Yeah, he said, I won't be able to. That mm -hmm. stress is just too much for a woman. Or I, since it was something I had passion for, for, I persisted. And then he introduced me to another guy, mm -hmm. DJ Big mm -hmm. who I started my training with, mm -hmm. you know, and being that theatre arts is a very practical course, mm -hmm. I really used to have time to go to the studio for my rehearsals. Mm -hmm. And I knew I had to do well in my academics, even though mm -hmm. my dad would do it. You have to sit on yeah. that. So I had to balance the two together, mm -hmm. you know, and I started slowly and steady, mm -hmm. and before I knew it, 
you just started yes. doing it and yes. here you are today and we have to say that we are actually very proud of you thank you for being so determined to get it done in a male dominated thank career you. field thank let you. me ask you this as a female how would you rate your experience thus far um i've had the good sides and the bad sides you know life is all about ups and downs so we've had virtually from the both sides mm -hmm. you know i've had some really good amazing times mm -hmm. and i've had some times where i i was frustrated mm. due to some factors yeah. you know it comes with the job mm -hmm. some disappointments mm -hmm. and all that but I've had good ways. Good ways. Yes. So, would you rate it as okay? I am good about it so far. That's why I'm still in it. Or you would say that's why I'm diversifying. I think I would say I'm good at it because okay. this is my tenth year okay. and I'm still doing, doing it very it. well. So you have so. a decade on your belt yes. for it. Yes. Any sexual harassment, any sexual discrimination, being a woman where a male DJ will be preferred instead of a female DJ, or it has worked to your advantage as a female. It DJ? has worked to my advantage. advantage. Okay. Yes. Tell us about because it. Because more people prefer a female DJ mm -hmm. to handle their events. Because wow. you know, women we're always careful yeah. about anything we do mm -hmm. we had that extra care mm -hmm. you know and then treat it with so much attention mm -hmm. and make sure everything runs perfectly so people just feel comfortable having, having you run my gigs okay so let me ask you, you know, this. have you been sexually harassed at a job um not really at a job but well it's normal on social media, social media okay. yeah my inbox and all of that you know so people just hidden on you oh god my <laughs> inbox <laughs> Have you ever been to an event okay. and your DJ and you just you know just minding your business and yeah. just scratching on the desk and yeah. everything and then you just have a guy just making passes at you or just waiting for you to take a break from the console and then they try hitting on you? They do that a whole lot. I see. And the most surprising one, I don't mm. know if I should say it. Uh, please, I mean by all means be real. The most it. surprising one was um, because then I used to dance too. Okay. So, we had a dance performance okay. and after the whole gig, mm -hmm. I came back into the hall to get to where the DJ was, uh -huh. where the DJ stand was. And to my greatest surprise, someone grabbed me from behind and I was trying to turn to like see who it was. Who was grabbing you? Maybe somebody familiar. And it was a girl. She just gave me a kiss and she told me, I loved your performance. And I was like, everyone is crazy. Are you serious? How did you react to that? I was shocked. I was, you know, something oh. you were not expecting. Uh -huh. So I just thought that I, I was struggling, like to get off. Like, yeah, what's, yeah, what's, yeah. what's this? Who's behind and I me? This was a girl. Wow. And she just said, "Ah, sorry, sorry. I really loved your performance. Oh. That's what." She couldn't hold it. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Very crazy. <laughs> What is one of the challenges that you have had as a DJ? Um, challenges, I would say finances. Finances, because, yes. okay. Why finances? Um, just like you know, equipment are very expensive. expensive I yes. know because they're also in the field. Of course, yes, of so course. Equipment, you have to um, always upgrade mm -hmm. your equipment, mm -hmm. get new ones, maintain the ones Old you one have. had before. So, I... And like then, I said, you know, it's very have, like, have you ever had a gig and you're playing and pfft, speakers don't want to come on, something just snaps off and you're like, now what is it? Yeah, it happens. Are you serious? It's just, like, it's just like a car. Sometimes you could drive your car and park uh -huh. and then the next moment you want to go out, you, you try to start it and something it's not coming wrong. on and you're like, boy, I just drove it down. Right? No. What happened? Yeah, so it happens. So it have happens. you been able to manage that? Because, you know, sometimes, yes. especially you could be playing, yes. have you been able to pacify okay. your clients? Making so, sure sometimes when I go for events, I carry, like, Extra. Double entry amplifiers, okay. double speakers, and okay. stuff because anything could happen okay. at any time. Okay, and so when that happens, I always work with my sound engineer. Okay, when that happens, I'll be steady on the console mm -hmm. and he will sort it out. Sometimes okay. people will really even notice, notice that something is off. people in the field will be like, Ah, that sound just dropped. dropped. What that's happened? That's right, that's right. So that's, that's right. right. Yeah. Well, I noticed that you've played in um, many shows outside Nigeria, not just in Nigeria, and yeah. you've done um, headlinings and all that stuff. Yeah. Would you say that you've ever face any kind of tribalism some kind of discrimination because of where you're from because I mean everywhere we go to in the world yeah. today something is always off there's always something oh she's not from our place she's not yeah. evil she's not your robot why yeah. she don't want playing have you ever faced any kind of um, or outside yeah like, indirectly that happened a bit in Lagos okay. when I was supposed to headline some shows with some okay. top-notch DJs okay. they're like 
this girl self, I go finish her. Mm. You know? Mm. And then I shocked them because I was the first to, to go get up. on stage. Wow. And when I came down, they were like, girl, you're good. You know? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so aside yeah. that, aside that, mm -hmm. I wouldn't really say I faced any, any survivalism yet. Okay. All right. Let me ask you this question because okay. now with the trend of everything that is going on with regards to sexual harassment and rape, okay. what are your views on that as a female in a male dominated career? Rape is evil. Mm -hmm. There is, I believe, there is no excuse for okay. rape. Some people say, how did you dress? Mm -hmm. What took you there? Mm -hmm. Why were you there? Mm -hmm. You know, but even if a girl or a woman dresses indecently and you say that's why or that's your reason for raping mm -hmm. her, why not go and rape the mad women on the streets that are, are naked? Are naked. Things are never what they seem to be. Judging minds, judging attitudes. Bring ourselves to live a peace and war. Judging minds, judging attitudes. Bring ourselves to live a peace and war. Show some love, hold each other's hands. And confidence will make the world a better place We are changing minds and changing attitudes You are watching the Princess Patapapio Show